Hello again, everybody. This is Photo Joseph. It is today's photo moment. Today is Friday, the 27th of May. May, May. It is May, right? It is May. Good. 27th of May. And today's photo moment is about a tip that I would like to say that I've been doing it this way for years, but I haven't. I just had this idea the other day and thought, well, isn't that incredibly painfully obvious? Probably should have been doing it this way all along. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to share this with you guys and see what you think. So here's the basic idea. If you have, first of all, if you have one camera, uh, one battery and one memory card, then you can just stop watching now because this is going to be totally useless to you. But most people have at least two memory cards, uh, if not more of that, more than that. And a lot of people are going to have more than one battery. So the problem always is, especially, and I feel, I guess if you only have two, it's, it's pretty easy still. But if you get more than two, the problem is you take a battery out or memory card out and you go, uh, you put that somewhere else and you put the clean one in, the fresh one in, the full battery or the empty card. And then you go to pull out that one and you go, wait, hold on, which of these other cards that I have sitting here, which of these other batteries are the full one or the empty ones? Now, obviously, if you've got a uh, little memory card holder and you're diligent about putting them in, let's say, upside down, that's what I do in mine. I'll put the full ones upside down so I know that this is full. Uh, that's good. Battery is a little bit harder. Where do I put the battery? Maybe I have a different place in my bag for it, a different pocket in the bag, or maybe in there they go in upside down or right side up. And that's great in theory, and you're sitting there at home and you're putting them and you go, this is how I'm going to do it, and that's perfect, and it's always going to work that way. But the reality is it doesn't always work that way. You're in a hurry, you just drop it into your bag, you stick it into a pocket, and then you're in a rush again to grab the next card or the next battery, and now you don't know which one is which. And so you got to put it in, you got to check it, you find out it's wrong, and so on. So here's the very, very simple idea. Take one of these things, a little label maker, and you put numbers. Numbers on your batteries, numbers on your cards. So here, that one's number one, number two, number three and four. My memory cards, same thing. We've got numbers one and two and three and four and five and six here. So the idea is, of course, I'm shooting, and we'll start with number one. So I drop one battery in, and that's number one card, so I drop that in. And now I'm shooting away. And no matter what happens to these, how they get mixed up in my bag, upside down, in the wrong place, whatever, I need a new battery. So I pull out battery one, I grab battery two, drop that one in, and keep shooting. Same thing with the card. Pull up card one, Let's see where's two, that's four. Let's put these back right side up, that's six, that's five. Uh, there's two, there we go. Drop in two, and keep shooting, and away we go. Now, of course, when I pull out two, I know the next one is going to be three. I don't accidentally grab one, no matter where it's gone in my bag, I don't accidentally grab one, I don't accidentally grab one because those I know are full, because I'm already at two. Obviously, I go up from there, two to three and so on. So that is a great way to make sure that you are not grabbing the wrong card or the wrong batteries. Now you might think if you have a lot of these that over time you're gonna be wearing out your number ones faster than your number four, five, or six, because you're gonna use those more quickly. So either you can just make sure that you're always rotating, the last card was in there was four, so I'm gonna go up to five and so on. But even that might get a little confusing, especially if you're getting ready for a big shoot. So what I would say is if you are shooting heavily and you have a lot of batteries, a lot of cards, is every month, two months, three months, whatever, pick your timing, rotate them. Peel off the stickers and just rotate them through. Number one becomes number six, and then everything else goes down, right? Two becomes one, three becomes two, and so on and so on. And that way you're constantly cycling them and rotating them through. So there you go. That's it. That's today's simple photo moment. I'm going to take a look at the comments here. I'm doing this a little bit differently this time. I'm still on the iPhone using the rear-facing camera, so I can't see if there's any comments. Um, I am, let's see here. If I refresh this, let's see if any comments show up here. Because, of course, what I want is to hear from you guys. But there's no comments. Are there any comments? There's no comments. Tiana, my assistant, come over here, Tiana. Say hi to the world. This hi. is Tiana, my assistant. She's very tall. Don't do that. Okay. And that? <laughs> much better. <laughs> and uh, uh, obviously, she's not always going to be here for these photo moments. But she says there's no comments. I don't see any comments here. Uh, but hopefully, we'll get some comments from you guys coming up here soon. I want to hear from you. I want your questions uh, so that I can answer in here. And also, remember, uh, when you're watching this live, if you could just do me a favor and hit that share button, share it to your timeline, that would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to start posting information about these before they happen. So there's a little bit of, a, of an announcement, pre-announcement. But of course, they're always at the same time every day, 9.30 in the AMs Pacific time every week or at least every business day. All right, that's it for today's photo moment. I hope uh, that was educational and interesting, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.